Hey. Oh. <laughs> Give him hell, chat. Give him hell. Ah. Uh. <laughs> hey, you didn't change the scene. Yeah. This time we it's going to take it. two minutes. They didn't miss anything. Literally nothing no, happened. Anything. Now it's starting to happen. Yeah. So Skorna getting a bit of a whack there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Skorna might go down here. Because that's one DD that that doesn't yep. have a smoke. And he's completely being caught right now. And he's shooting. Yeah, he's having to reverse. Well, he's... I think he's inside detection range. Here comes HE from... Can I see why and they again, said undestroyed that has no smoke into the damn cap. Yeah, that's Mayan not abandoned good idea. it and Skorna didn't. <clears throat> I mean, uh, I mean, we FHKK are a um, they are a King of the Sea team or a clan. Um, but obviously, we don't know the skill level of these individual players. Mm -hmm. All right, so A falls. Oh, look at the it, like one very very funny thing is look. At the difference in HP pools. <laughs> yeah. 85 versus 369. Bloody hell, dude. <laughs> yeah. So. But. But. The, the first so cap. Beast. Yeah, the first cap has fallen. And now the steady push will commence towards B. So th this is the problem when you have only destroyer uh, a composition. You have to let the ground and hope you land enough yeah. torpedoes to bring enough of them down that you don't mm -hmm. lose them points. Yeah, and, uh, you know, if you're not very good with the torque prediction, then, um, you know, ultimately yeah. it's not going to do anything. One DD um, went and down, they, the other two are and missing everything. And if you're not careful, they can actually corner you as well, so... Um, ooh, they, the... ooh, 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 Synop taking a bunch of torpedoes on the other side. Oh, damn, those camels look nice. Oh, they do, actually. Which one is that? I... Th that's lovely. That might be the victory camel, or the team. That's lovely. The team red, whatever it was. Yeah. That's really team nice. fire or something. I don't know. Yeah, they're they're all wearing the same camo. I like it. I do like it when teams do that. Yeah. Okay, so FHKK did manage to take two caps to one, so they are winning on points, even though they are losing uh, ground. And now with Leon Gneisenau accompanying these two synapses, they might try some counter push as well. Mayans are getting themselves. Caught. Yeah, they they need to be really they need to start going um, east because they can easily get pushed into the corner. Because you know your strength as a destroyer in this situation is not being detected. I don't know why Shida is not pushing even closer. To be honest, why is he barely on the edge of detection of this man? And now, yeah, Mayan went went south. Oh, he got detected by Shida on the other side. This is this is what FHKK needs. They need to absolutely murder Fury Lion. So they have no DDs to worry about, and then it's just battleships. Yeah. And him not having a smoke screen. Ooh. Yeah. Then they've got well, they've got they've got nice now talks to worry about, but I mean that's not so much of a problem. They can still see him. So I'm very surprised why Son Micah is not yeah. bloody shooting. Hello? Why is that? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, he's running away because of the push, potential push from... Oh, okay, okay. Well, they can't see uh, Shira anymore. They allowed him to escape, which is a bit weird. I did not expect that. Spiel is going to take a tour. Mm -hmm. Mayan goes down. That leaves just one more. Nice now is pushing into Bravo. Yeah, they're flipping Bravo. Torps are a bust. Vukula is detected. I don't I don't feel like shooting your guns if you're going to be the only destroyer shooting and using your guns is worth yeah, it. Yeah, not a good idea. Like they, they should I'm either not... all be kind of using their guns and torps to focus fire <laughs> and, and bring <laughs> one of them down it, or not use it at all. Unless you're going to put the Vokalan in a position where it's um, just being a distraction, basically, like pop up, shoot a few shells, cause them to turn or, you know, turn their guns and then go quiet again. But shooting in that position is a bit dangerous. Well, 
Well, there mm. goes B soon. So that's going to yeah, put I mean, them behind on points and caps. Banana Joe's Torps here might be good on Skywalker. Maybe. Mm, I think he's going to accelerate and dodge. Yeah, he will accelerate now. He's capped. Last set, maybe one or two. Yeah, one set could be good. The other one, oh man, maybe. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think he accelerated enough. I yeah, mean, he didn't these know they are were Japanese there. torps? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be five, I think, in total. Okay, Done. they paid heavily for that cap, but they got the cap. Now the most important thing is to kind of... See, this is what they're doing right now. I can't click, but they are keeping the line. The only way, that, the only position where the line is breaking is south. Because they literally yeah. need one more ship to be more south. Like if this Gneiser now was... Oh, Sinop! Oh, Sinop is going to take... He's definitely down. Yeah. No so question. Th this is the problem. You win terrain, but you have to make sure the DDs don't make it behind you. They're very yeah. successful in doing that in the north. And the other main went down as well. Uh, but in the south, they're, they're kind of failing in that. So <laughs> all this terrain that they just won and created the zone is now pointless. Because one Sinop can't deal with two destroyers. And no. uh, now they can go for A. And then you have to do everything again with less ships and less time. So you kind of need to push everywhere so the destroyers can't sneak in between your, your front line. If you can do that, and you can win. The problem is ultimately, even if you end up with one battleship versus one destroyer, in theory, that on this map, the destroyer should never lose because they, you know they can out they, they can out cap you, they can out spot you. It's only yeah. if they make a mistake, like coming around an island or something, that or the points, because because the battleship can yeah. simply be in the cap and not let you enter. And it, but if, he, but if, if you're going to sit in the cap, the destroyer can just go and cap everything else. Yes, that's a possibility. And then you just end up chasing them around the map. Yeah, but let, let's say that a, a battleship enters A, so you, you're in a destroyer, you go for B. By the time you cap B and you move towards C, the battleship is already close to B. When you cap C and start going way back, you cap to B. And then it's like, what do you do now? As a battleship, you can go for C and then maybe destroyer well, will mean, wait and go into B, <laughs> go to A, but then you go back into B. You, you don't get that much advantage one but the, on one. The other... But the, I think the other advantage you get as a destroyer in that situation is you are, you know, you're pretty much well able to predict where the battleship's going to be because they have to go and cap. And so you know that for like a minute they're going to be sat in the cap capping. And so if you can time it well, you can um, try and get torpedoes on them while they're sat in the cap. Okay, the Gneiser now is uh, dropping very low on HP, and he is yeah. on fire, but in the same time, they're gonna trade Vukola for him. And then uh, the point lead, if they can trade, should still be in the face of HKK. Because you get more for sinking a battleship than you do for a destroyer. Spieler is burning. And uh, Rexon from FHKK is taking A. And then he can go for B. So, I think the Destroyers can win this. Oh, that that gap. Oh, he didn't start turning on time. He's going to slide okay. into the he's door. Okay. He's okay. 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 <laughs> Apparently, this is the Mars camo. Uh, the uh, That red camo is the Mars camo. Oh, Mars. Okay. Mm. They could definitely use the kill on this in this Igniser now. And now he's healing. So, yeah, no more guns. Okay, so oh, they're, no. they're sorry, like... Sorry, no, it's not... Mm -hmm. well, I was going to say, it's not the Mars camo, apparently. It is the Team Fire 2017 oh. camo. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Team Fire. That's what you said. It was Team Water, sorry, Team said. Fire, and the other yeah. the other one was like Team Shark and Team <laughs> Eagle or something like that. Go so, Eagles. Yeah. Go Eagles. Mm -hmm. Alright, so what do we what we have right now is three destroyers, basically, everywhere around the map. Gneisen now is doomed. He just took a torpedo, and the shit is going to try to gun him down. Uh, oh my god, Gneiser now. Oh, he didn't miss completely. He can't keep bring him down. He's shooting too far forward. He needs to hit the superstructure, not the bow. Yeah. He keeps hitting turrets and the bow. Yeah. Ooh. Higher, dude. Higher. Ooh. Oh my lord. Uh, uh, oof. Yeah. They can't afford this trade. They need that destroyer <laughs> game lucky. as well. 
Okay, so now they're winning by like 80 points and two caps to one. And Leon has to what? Push, keep pushing Akatsuki away. Meanwhile, Sinop can cap. But then they still have that Shira that can maybe do some resets. One torpedo and that Sinop is away. And they need to That's... split Shira and Gneisen now to cover both A and B. Mm -hmm. And there's only 2 minutes and 20 seconds left. By the time that Gneisen now even gets in A, the game's going to be over. So it's down to Shira potentially getting A, Sinop getting C, and flipping enough points on time. So this might come down to, yeah, that Shira not getting killed and maybe getting some yeah. resets. The Shira um, needs to be super careful, especially if he loses sight of that Sinop. I, that he I, doesn't accidentally come around a corner and go, oh. Yeah, I know FHKK probably has no idea where enemy Shira is, the Fury Lion. And no. he's going to go for B, so even... Oh, man, I don't know. Can he actually get into B and flip it before Gneisenau gets in there and spots him? If he can, I think they win no matter what. He can get to the cap. Whether he can actually cap it in time, I don't know. Fury Line is going in between the two caps. I don't think they made a decision yet. No. Do they go for One the cap or 30. not? Because by the time he gets into A, and by the time it takes for him to flip it, uh, I don't I don't know if he can even flip yeah, he it, but he, but he can slow the points down. He can stop the points, yeah. Yeah, he can stop the points. But here comes the moment of truth. Sinop is about to take a torp to the nose. Saturation. Oh, he can't afford to take another one. 3.6k. Okay, so... What is that? Like 60 points? 80 points? Okay, so Shina knows where Sinop took a torpedo, so he can guess that Sinop is still moving north. Akatsuki is really, really failing to hit that Leon, but he's keeping Leon busy. So, I'm trying to block these points for as long as possible. Yeah, if Sinop continues going to the right and Shira risks and goes in the cap here, he's going to block C, which will work heavily in their favor. Yeah, this is a risky move from Micha because he doesn't know where that Sinop's gone. Because uh... that Sinop could be right there. Oh, he the, um, Rexan did not flip B. The points are catching up, but there's only 13 seconds to go. Yeah, I think he, he judged that quite well, actually. Just staying alive, yeah? Yeah. Just block the points long enough and then leave. So, the Strongers yeah. are going to win by... See, if that Shida went down... Yep. Dude, if yep. that Shida went down... That was... Micha was risking everything there, because that Sinop could have just sat in the cap. Um, and the, the, the Shira didn't know where he'd gone, and... and yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, but, but you kind of have to risk move. at this point, when it's yeah, like sure, seconds sure, sure. deciding. You don't want to not sure. commit and then lose because of that. Okay, this well, is... This good is technical GG. win. Yeah, absolutely. It was, that was interesting. Three destroyers in the end versus three battleships and a DD. But they got. See, this is the problem. The northern side pushed very successfully. They took two Mayans down. Uh, uh, they took Skana down as well. So they took three out of four that died in this game. And they were very successful at it. But they got dragged super far away from the caps. And that would have worked fine. If the three battleships on the other side were equally spread and not letting destroyers slip behind them and not getting torpedoed. But they got torped, they started getting thin, and they were clustered together. So the DDs went around and that's exactly what lost them the game. That's the problem when you play against a full DD team. You will win the, the cap control. You will be the ones pushing, you will be the ones winning the map. But eventually, especially as ships starting to go thinner, and you start losing eyes, the DDs can just go around you and then they can start posing some serious threats uh, and win on points.